Hello, today I'd like to show you how to make a fun little gift bag, something like this, starting with a fat quarter. In fact, you can get two of these out of a fat quarter, plus you'll need a little bit of ribbon, and if you're going to do an applique, you're going to need that. And how delicious is it going to look when it comes to that time of year when everyone has to have gifts, to have a little gift wrapped so beautifully in something like that. So I'll just show you how we're going to achieve this. So you're going to start with something, well you don't have to start with a fat quarter of course, however you can get two out of a fat quarter. So a fat quarter is going to be almost square, something like that, and we're going to cut that in half. So if you fold it so that the selvage goes to the raw edge and then cut that in half, or approximately in half, probably cut it at about eight and a half inches wide, and the full strip, then you're going to get two of those out of a fat quarter. So that's what this piece here is. I've already cut my fat quarter in half. We're going to make a little bag that looks a little bit like this one. So I had a fat quarter, I cut it in half. This white bit is my selvage. I cut it so that it was about eight and a half inches wide, just the full width of that uh, fat quarter. I didn't alter the length. And then we're going to very simply press in those ends just to hem it nicely. So I've actually already pressed that end. I haven't pressed this end. So we want to turn over approximately half an inch, press that down, and then another half an inch, and we're just going to hem that just with a straight stitch on the sewing machine. So I'll quickly do that so that we can keep going. So these are quite quick to make. They're fun. Quite often we've got a fabric fat quarter that perhaps we don't need for what we thought we needed it for in the first place. Sometimes we might get one specially because it's got a particular theme going to it. There's any number of reasons. Or it might not be fat quarters, it might be some other leftover fabric from some other delicious project. So I'll quickly hem both ends of this. I've just left my selvage on and turned it in. Uh, we're not expecting this to have any heavy wear and tear on it. There already we've hemmed the two ends. That didn't take long. This is quick. You could make a whole stack of these so that you're ready for any occasion. Perhaps when there's a festive season coming up, you could make a whole stack that suited that, but you could make some birthday bags, all sorts of things. So having hemmed both of those edges to the wrong side, I'm now going to turn it, fold it up right sides together so that those two hemmed edges are level at the top. And now we're just going to sew down one side with a quarter inch seam, as we normally do. And when I start a seam like this, when it's going to be a little bag, rather than starting right on the end, I just start maybe a quarter of an inch down with my sewing so that the little thread ends don't hang out the top because they're not so attractive when they do that. And then I will reverse back to the top and then go forward all the way down to the other end. that starting point just down a little bit. I don't have those little ends. Sometimes you get just the little bit sticking up at the seam. So now we've done one seam and now we need a piece of ribbon. So the piece of ribbon is about 24 inches long that I've cut. I'm going to fold that in half and I'm going to grab a pin. Yes, even I'm going to use a pin. And I'm going to position that maybe a couple of inches or so down from that top edge. On the raw edge, the fold of the ribbon, pop a pin there just to hold it in place so that when we stitch this seam, we take in that folded edge. So now we're going to go back to the machine. So the other side. You can see this bag is nearly done. This has not taken, this is way quicker than going out and buying wrapping paper. stitch straight over that ribbon edge, all the way down. And then what I like to do is, I like to think that people are going to treasure these bags, even though they're a quick and easy wrapping option. So I'm now going to select a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine. And I'm going to zigzag, oops, 
we're going to zigzag over those raw edges of the bag so that it's all enclosed inside and it won't fray and then the bag can be used for all sorts of things later on because it's going to be treasured by the recipient. So again I start a little bit down from the top, back stitch up and then I zigzag so that you're overcasting right over the raw edges of your fabric. doesn't take very long, you're still watching. And then come back and, and do the same thing on the first seam, snip off if there's any little threads sitting out that are just a nuisance. And we'll just quickly overcast that and then we've, we're done, it's that quick and easy. So this is a fairly open zigzag, it doesn't need to be a closed up tight one. Snip that away, trim off your threads from the starting point and turn it out the right way and it's all ready to pop a gift in. How exciting is that? That really didn't take very long. So there we have a nice little bag. You might It's got little dogs on it. Maybe you've got a special little pet that you want to give a gift to. I'm sure a dog would love to have a gift in a bag like that. And you pop something nice inside and you can just tie it up with your ribbon. And then you've got something that's going to look a little bit like that. Maybe it's something delicious in there. Maybe it's some socks that are possibly very delicious to whoever's getting them. There's a, an all-purpose type bag. There's something that's a little bit more seasonal. Um, perhaps that's even a little bit much for you. You can make something that's even simpler. You could use something like a calico or muslin fabric where I've just actually pinked the top edge. I haven't even um, hemmed that top edge. I have, however, uh, stitched it down the sides and I have just popped a piece of string instead of the ribbon in there. And that will tie up and maybe you've got a little gift that you want to give somebody, maybe a special quilting friend, a little bundle of circles or squares or something like that, popped in there and tied up and that just makes a lovely little quick gift bag to save you having to go out and worry about how you're going to gift wrap all your gifts. So that's the fun little gift bag, make two from a fat quarter. Thank you.